Hey guys, it is me again, as you can tell. Uh, hope everybody's doing all right tonight. Today is Thursday, April 14th. Makes it day 104. On a project, serve him more. So, again, like I said, it's good to have everybody here. Um, I'm going to try to make this video a little shorter tonight, guys, just because I have got so much to do. It's almost midnight, and I've still got to get this video in. I'm going to try to get the comments, but I may not get to it. I may just have to wait till tomorrow, guys. Um, I've got a couple of vehicles that I need to get on the Internet and look up. Stuff I was going to try to do at work today. and um, Just didn't get to. You know, I've got some vehicles that, uh, that are giving me problems and uh, came up this evening and got real busy, of course, uh, about 3.30. And I didn't know it until about five minutes before he had to leave that my worker had to leave. Had to leave early. He had to leave at 4.15. And, uh, which was no fault of his. I mean, he told Dad, you know, that he had to leave. The problem is Dad didn't tell me. So I was sitting here with stuff sitting everywhere, you know, Starting on new jobs basically at four o'clock, having a not having a clue that he was getting her to have to leave. So uh, anyway, long story short, I just uh, uh, didn't get to get as much done this evening as I wanted to. So I'm gonna try to do a little catch up work here tonight. Try to get on the my resources here online and find out some information on some vehicles and, and do some things and, and pray that I can take care of them, of them tomorrow. So. Uh, I just want to ask you guys to pray for me. Pray for me tonight. If you see this tonight, if it's tomorrow, pray for me. Pray that, that I'll be able to figure these vehicles out that are kind of stumping me right now. I mean, I really just now started looking at them. I mean, uh, you know, it's not like I've, I'm pulling my hair out yet. I mean, I'm, I, I've not actually even done anything to them yet. I've just kind of been gathering information. But I think that, you know, especially the one I got a diesel that won't start and, uh, it's one of those Chevy Duramax diesels, and they're not really working on them much. I've worked on a whole lot of the Ford diesels, but the the Chevys, I've I've not really. Uh, well, I say Chevy and Ford diesel. Actually, the Ford is an international diesel, and the Chevy is an Isuzu diesel. But uh, so yeah, I've not worked on them much. So uh, just pray, guys, that I can figure this thing out and and do it in a, quick enough where they can, you know. That satisfies them and, and, and does me good too. So, uh, again, I just want to ask you guys to pray for that. Pray for my business. Pray for my knee. My, my knee's still off and on, guys. Like I said, it's not hurting all the time. It's just off and on. It comes and goes. So, uh, keep praying for my... Mm, excuse me, guys. Keep praying for my knee. Pray for my aunt and uncle. They are going back to Indianapolis tomorrow. Uh, they stayed in here a week. So, uh... They're going back home tomorrow, so I pray that they'll have a safe trip. Uh, let's see, guys. I guess that's about it, like I said. Um, but, so let's get into the important part tonight. Like I said, I hate cutting this short, but I've still got a lot of stuff to do tonight. So uh, maybe tomorrow night, you know, or tomorrow's Friday, maybe I'll, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow evening will be a little bit better evening, and, and I won't have so much to do, and, uh, and I can give you some more jibber-jabber. But anyway, starting in eight, eight, starting in Luke chapter eight, verse eleven, it says, "Now the parable is this: the seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock. They on the rock are they, which when they hear receive the word with joy, and these have no root." which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. You know, this kind of, you know, if you notice this, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that, guys. I'm just going to get into a little bit of doctrine stuff here, but uh, I guess I won't. I don't have time tonight. Uh, okay, verse 14. And that which fell among thorns are they, which when they have heard go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. 
but they on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, kept it, and bring forth fruit with patience. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or putteth it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick. They that which enter it in may see the light. Excuse me, guys, it's, kind of, it's hard to read. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. I, I really agree with Brother Woody on he's always talked about how this, you know, this old English, this King James Version, uh, it's just hard to read, and it is. I mean it is. It's uh you know, it, it's just it's real hard to read. I mean it's actually sometimes it's so hard to read that it actually hurts you. It actually hurts the meaning sometimes. Take heed, therefore, how ye hear, for whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and whoever, whosoever hath not, from which shall be taken, even that which he seemeth to have. I mean, it really, it, if you guys struggle with this, go to a different translation. Because I'll be honest, guys, this whosoever's and seemeth and, and four twos and have nots, I, I'll be honest, it's, you know, that's just not the way we talk now, and it, it's hard to understand. So if you have to, get you a good Bible translation that, you know, you got to watch some of them. Some of the newer ones actually leave some verses out. They change some things around. You don't want one like that, but one that, that all they do is, you know, kind of change the words a little bit to where you can understand it. I don't see anything wrong with that. Use your discernment. If you're saved, your discernment will tell you if you're reading the Bible that's good or not. Then came to him his mother and his brethren, and could not come at him for the press. And it was told him by certain which said, Thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to see thee. And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which do hear the word of God, and do it. Anyway, guys, looks like that's about ten verses. Uh, glad you all are here tonight, like I said, as always. So, uh... Like I said, guys, just pray for me. Uh, pray that, that we'll have a good day at work tomorrow so I can draw a payday and that we can cover everything we've got to cover. Uh, pray for my family. Pray for my church. Uh, just, you know, I don't know. I just, you know, we've all got a lot of things we're dealing with right now. Uh, let's pray for this country. Let's pray for this world, guys. And uh, I love you all. And, and I'm, I'm just glad that I've got to come on here and, and I know I've done a lot of talking that's maybe not had, you know, been so important, but, you know, to get to come on here and, and share the word of God with you guys, uh, it means a lot to me. So I'm glad you guys are here. Um, good Lord willing, tomorrow night I'll be back here to uh, give you another uh, dose of God's word. So uh, till I see you guys again, good night and God bless.